Just finished hiking Bears Peak near Boulder, and we're stopping off at Sancho's Gun Barrel, which is a suburb of Boulder, and this is highly rated. And we're gonna try out their Chilariendos, as well as have a nice cold Negro Modelo. So see you inside. Welcome to Sancho's Mexican Grill. This is a uh, second time coming in a few days. Brought Neil and Mark this time. So we just got a little appetizer. Neil already got his breakfast burrito. Very quick service here. We got some nice habanero salsa with a ton of heat. Perfect after a hike. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try Sancho's here. I got some uh, kind of weird chicharron. I haven't quite seen it like that before, but it does taste interesting. I got a chile relleno with a green chili sauce on top of that. I got a green chili enchilada. I put the chicharron on top, so I thought I'd take advantage of that. So we're gonna take a first bite. Chile relleno is a quintessential, so I think we'll take a first bite of that and see what that initial burn is like. What do you think, folks? Here we go. Chilerano, we got a nice poblano showing in there. A little bit of nice cheese. Looks decent, so let's give it a go. Mm. On flavor, I'd give it about a 6.5. And on the heat level, I'd give it about a 7.1. So we'll come back in a minute, let that slow burn kick in, and I'll give you a slow burn rating. Okay, here we are with the second bite. It's allowed time for the slow burn to kick in. This time I'm gonna try the green chili enchilada with a little bit of chicharron on top. And it has chicken as well. So let's have a go at this. More flavor, it has more flavor than the relleno. It might be because of the chicharron sauce I put on it, but it does have more flavor. The, the burn levels, pretty low, it's about a 5.0. And um, so, I would say both between the green chili enchilada, which is flavorful, and the chili relleno, which is beautiful texture, nicely done with the, uh, the battering. But it is a very mild poblano, and the cheese is pretty nondescript. So I still stand with my flavor rating, and the heat rating is still about a 7.1. So overall, if you combine those two, overall Santos, I'm giving it about a 6.4.